Let's -a go. Yo, what is going on guys? It's me the Ninja Reviewer here. Welcome to my review of Dragon Ball Superman. Now I'm not talking about the Superman. I'm talking about Dragon Ball Super. Just oh my god. Mm. Episode 65 review. Oh man. So this episode the fucking angel of darkness, the Roman Alchemist, yes, Vatu Fusion, the angel, the white angel of darkness, motherfucker. Like, yes, <coughs> dude has angel, he has a halo, like he's a god or an angel sent from, from Jeet, like from fucking heaven. But no, this dude wants to fucking create a new world, to create a world without pitiful mortal humans. And we're just seeing Zumasu just blasting a whole bunch of shit. Like, this dude seems unstoppable at this point. But then, we see a tag team between Goku and, well before we get to that, we have some side stuff with Yajirobe, which again, I'm gonna, I'm gonna brush that off a bit aside because no one really cared about that part. Basically, it was just Yajirobe just trying to pretty much be like the Sicilian, like, yeah, come on, you are a leader, let's just do this and guide us to safety. And it's like, whoa, it's like, I don't really do this stuff kind of often, but it's like, I would rather not. It's like, you know, I mean, well, that again, I don't really do much, but it's like, screw it. No, I'll find a way just to actually, you know, guide you guys through. And at first, you know, he saw, like, something there. He, like, got scared for a second. It's like, okay, everybody, everybody's safe now. But now all of a sudden, you're seeing fucking shit getting blown up. You really want to trust Yadirobe as your fucking town leader? Like, are you really kidding me on that? Anyways, so we pretty much see that there's actually a little, um, a little, a, a, a big-ass, um, um, headquarters hut, or just a hut in general, that her mother brought with her with the time machine and whatnot. And basically, they're gonna be there just to actually, uh, just to stay safe, like, for Bulma and for Mai, to stay actually safe from harm from during the fight. So meanwhile, Trunks is gonna be sent out there to help, you know, Vegeta and Goku and their aid. So, we're actually seeing Goku, and, oh man, oh my god, oh my god, <laughs> we're seeing him just using all these fucking spears, and they're fucking exploding, like, we're seeing fucking Zamasu using a whole bunch of these shit, the whole town is in flames and in fire, and basically we have the fight between, so we have Goku and Vegeta as like a little team up with the two, and they're kind of, you know, cock teasing the whole fusion thing, because if you watch the preview, you would know that we have Super Vegito with, well Super Saiyan Blue Vegito, I should say, fused with the Batora earrings. And I'm thinking, oh shit, and it says the the conclusion or finale conclusion or something like that. I don't remember the name of the actual episodes, but next episode could be the big final battle between Sumasu and possibly Vegito. This could be the final fight. And we saw in the preview that dude, did, did you see the way Zumasu looks? He's got some like purplish like skin coming off of him. Like what the fuck is going on? Like we're seeing like all this purpley fucking skin shit that's like coming out of like Zumasu. And it's like what the hell? So it, 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 it's very weird, but it's like creepy at the same time. So this could be like some kind of way or something. That, I don't know how, but it's going to be something to defeat Jumasu in the end with his immortal body. But that's going to be for the next episode. But for this one, we have the tag team between Super Saiyan Blue Goku and Vegeta. And I gotta say, the way they actually tag team, like, they actually work together as a team to actually somewhat damage Jumasu, that was actually pretty impressive. And that right there is proving that with the two of them probably fused together next week, that will be the key in order to actually you know, fusion against fusion, which I think will be pretty freaking dope. So I'm actually really looking forward to that. 
But also, Trunks is the MVP of this week's episode. Like, dude, the dude didn't even give a fuck if he's not even on a God Super Saiyan level. He didn't give a flying fuck. Trunks is like, you know what? You guys screwed around with my dad and Goku. I've had enough of sitting on the sidelines. Let's do this shit. He fucking uses his new only Super Saiyan powers. Uses the freaking Gallic Gun, which that was beast. A big giant ass Gallic Gun. And it kind of reminds me of Goku versus Vegeta when they actually first fought each other. That was actually really cool. Because we have like Trunks in that corner and we have Zamasu there. And it's like, oh my god, it's like so nostalgia of like like Goku versus Vegeta pre time skip and I'm thinking oh shit like damn man this is bringing me back and then Vegeta comes along to help his son in the nick of yo Vegeta man they are redeeming my favorite character so much right now like Vegeta is finally getting the redemption that he needs he finally is getting the best character development in the series and honestly, if he can actually stand up and use a super, a double galley gun with the sun, that was actually pretty cool. So again, that was actually, oh man, that was so damn awesome. Like, but of course, it still wasn't enough to, of course, take out the monster. Yeah, you know, it gave him, you know, a little run for his money, but it wasn't like enough. And then, it's like, oh man, but th this, this fight, man, has been... Like, goddamn incredible, man. Like, Zumasu is a beast. I love Zumasu. Zumasu has to be my my favorite villain of, like, Dragon Ball of all time. Like, even more than Piccolo, man. Frieza. Yo. Oh, I love this dude. I love Zumasu. Zumasu is like... And, they, and I really did like how they bring the whole biblical kind of... The end all of, like, the rapture of God or some shit. Like... You know, like in like an angel from heaven comes around to actually destroy the entire world as like a sacrifice to the Lord. It's like, dude, this is so biblical shit right now, man. It's like it's crazy. But yeah, um, definitely the fight was really good. The animation was extremely well done. I would say it's almost movie quality stuff, especially for Toei. That's pretty insane. We know that Dragon Ball Super is bringing in them big bucks. So you know, with them big bucks, they're gonna finally stop being lazy pieces of shit and actually animate it the way we want Dragon Ball Super to be animated fucking finally and it's looking fantastic so far even next week's episode I think it's not now Toshi and the boys I think now Toshi is animating the next episode because if it is the finale like the title says it is this could be the final fight we're getting and it does kind of suck because man I love this arc man but we all know that a new arc is supposed to come out next year and it's gonna suck because we know there's gonna be some like mini kind of arc just coming up and mm, eh, eh, I don't know if I'm gonna review those I may or may not review those it's depending if it's interesting like if it's a really good one I'll review it but until then uh, I'm just gonna stick with this I'm gonna ride the fuck out till this one's over because honestly right now man this has to be whoo like I love this fight man this fight has been off the chain so far I'm gonna give another one another five out of five episode quality episode man finally I, I'm guessing next week is the big finale. We're seeing Super Saiyan Blue Vegito versus God Tier Fusion Goku Black and Zumasu. Two godly tiers fused into one, man. I'm so reminded of Toriko, man. Did you see, man, here's the thing. Toriko should have gotten this treatment, man. If Toriko got this treatment, I'm pretty sure it would do amazingly big, which is why it probably should not have ended. Like, well, I mean, not, not really the anime, the manga I'm talking about. Which, if you haven't heard, yes, the manga is finally ending. Um, next, uh, well, Thursday, this coming, scanlation wise whatever. But we know in Viz's, Viz's uh, thing, whatever they do on their Mondays, is when it gets officially translated on the 14th. But as we all know, for the <coughs> legal folks, we actually, we go through the scanlations. But anyways, not about Toriko, but can you imagine if Toriko had a high budget, man? And then maybe Toriko would have been the bigger success for, like, but no, you know, Toei had to be lazy as fuck, and then, you know, give Toriko the proper treatment like the one, just saying. And that's basically it. Um, 5 out of 5 quality episode, can't wait. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, that's basically my simple way to review this episode. And yeah, I will see you guys next week for episode 66, which probably could be the final fight, and... 
I'm actually really looking forward to it. And until then, see you guys there. Tell me your thoughts in the comment section below of this fight so far. And yeah, just tell me what your thoughts on the episode in general, guys, in the comments. And until then, it's basically it. So peace, soul, love, chicken grease, and the sky's the limit. Anime manga fans, keep supporting what you read and what you watch. And that's it. See you guys next week for episode 66. And no, don't worry, it's not 666, but 66. Anyways, later. Bye-bye.